friends welcome for another day on shaving with rich today's shave is brought to you by chiseled face ghost town barber this is a great favorite especially with the guys in the cadre it seems to be like our uh, well, it's a great favorite among the guys there not everybody likes it but most everybody uh, I'm using the Omega bore brush of course the captain's choice bowl and today we're continuing with uh, one blade February and uh, so we're using the uh, uh, why is the words not coming out today uh, game changer with the uh, silver blue blade this is the seventh shave on this blade and uh, I'm hoping it's gonna do as well as it's been doing so far it's kind of smoothing out a little bit Uh, it had started out a little bit rough, but uh, the last couple shaves it's had it acted kind of a little better. So I'm um, I may have underloaded because I'm not getting any lather at all. Let's get a little bit more. Doesn't ever hurt to go back to the puck. Here we go. I think let's get some good stuff out of here. I was at the doctor's office already today. I failed to, uh, I went in for a checkup last week and I forgot to fast before I went in because they were going to do a blood draw. So I had to go in this morning before breakfast to get blood tests. And uh, the technician there, and I have a running joke, he's able to get a vein just every time. So. I had threatened to find a, or either find or make him a Halloween costume to call him Phlebato Man, because boy, he can, he can find a vein anywhere. He's got a real talent for it. That's really ex an exceptional thing. He get a, takes a lot of practice, and I guess working in the lab, you get a lot of practice. But he was amused at how Phlebato Man comes off the off the tongue real good. He says, yeah, I like that. Flabato man. So we were laughing and joking about how he could show up and at work in his costume with his cape and his the pee on his chest like Superman. He says, have no fear. Flabato man is here. People could get their blood drawn with no fear at all. remember Ghost Town Barbers being a thirsty soap. The voice has taken a lot of a lot of fluids. It's lathering up. It, I mean it's okay. It just doesn't have a lot of oomph lo loft to it. But it seems like it could take more. I'll give it a little little ooch. See what it does. It's a low, slick lather, so we'll go with it. I like slick lathers anyway. Kind of the downside of doing the spray bottle method is that I gotta get used to 
cool or tepid lathers. I had enjoyed my uh, scuttle, which I haven't used for a while. After you've used a captain's choice bowl, it's hard to go back to a conical bowl. Doesn't look like much, but it's a pretty good, this is slick stuff. And of course got that delightful cowboy smell. to Nurse Dave for using his uh, birthday super speed. I almost thought he didn't like uh, vintage razors and I was worried that I defended him or something. I guess he just forgot that he had it. Which is fine. He's got a lot of stuff going at his house. Got house repairs. Got a busy season. But I'm glad he likes it, or glad it liked him. I almost kept it. It was a nice razor. He may need a replate at some point. But every man ought to have a birthday razor. He's got a real popular birth quarter, apparently, because they're kind of scarce. Or I had a rough of time finding it on eBay anyway. addition of sink water to the lather. I may have broke the lather. Let's do something. So there, dang it. That was a 15 second load, so maybe a I underloaded a little bit more than I should have. Last couple of times I've shaved it, I've missed a little spot here. I'm going to give a little bit of extra attention. Oh, there we go. A little extra attention. We've been having a flood here the last couple of days. 
concrete outside is a got a river going along in the gutter. Most of it's coming from the end of my uh, sump pump where it discharges. I have all the hope in the world that a city engineer who's been out to see me a couple of times will have mercy on me and install the storm sewer because I make a river all the way down the street and I just know that I'm pumping all the water out of that hill behind me and all those houses are going to fall into the sea the hill's going to collapse and all those houses are just going to go with it all because I pumped all the water out from under them feel kind of sorry for my next door neighbor because he had a, when it got really cold I was still pumping water out so he has kind of a little skating pool at the end of his driveway so he uh Super nice guy. His kids cut my grass in the summer. And when they can't, he does. And he won't let me pay him. He knows that I can't do it anymore much as I'd like to. Doesn't want his kids to use the tractor either. Anyway, the discharge of the pumps is goes right along the, the joist, which is right under my feet while I'm standing here. So I can feel it when it cu cuts out. So I'm very aware of pumping as I'm in this bathroom. that we've got our three passes in it's looking pretty promising let me do clean up my work here I'll be right back we're back I had a pretty really good shape today near baby butt I suppose if I put more time into it I could get really smooth uh, today's shave was uh, uh, facilitated I guess I uh, chills the face Groupatorium of Ghost Town Bar Barber with their matching aftershave. Uh, we used the Omega Boar Brush and uh, Game Changer with a Silver Blue, Gillette Silver Blue Blade. This is the seventh use. And uh, for the first time I have added a little Thayer's to the, uh, to the mixture. I uh, found it in the unlikeliest of places. In the grocery store, we got her. Uh, thank you guys for coming to visit, and I look forward to seeing you next time. As always, you can find all of us on the Shaving Cadre, and of course, we're on YouTube. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.